This video focuses on uh, the role of the episcopacy, okay, or as I refer to throughout, because it's a bit easier for me to say, the role of the pope and bishops, okay? So we can start off first of all by looking at the bishop, all right? And obviously a bishop is in charge of a diocese, all right, a greater area, okay? So obviously we're in uh, the, <coughs> the diocese of Cardiff, all right? So, um, the role of a bishop, one of the first things is that obviously that the, the bishop fulfills the role as um, a modern day disciple, okay? And one of the sort of the main responsibility there is, is, is growing the church, celebrating sacraments, okay? So for this reason, one of the main roles of a bishop, or one of the most important roles is it's uh, what's called is performing the sacrament of holy orders. So that means ordaining men as deacons and priests. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, the second thing, okay, the second thing that it's uh, was called when it comes to uh, the role of the bishop. You can talk about the fact that the bishop's role is to perform the sacrament of confirmation. Okay, now that sort of goes off a little bit from what is on your revision guide but that's also another important role is that he performs the sacrament of confirmation that helps it was called obviously um people a little bit younger than, than you are to confirm their faith and, and to recommit to god all right uh, now, the other one is quite a simple one, okay, that think about, again, the role of what the the apostles, what's called, needed to do, and the first one is that, what's called, that, or the second one is that they had to preach the gospel, all right, so bishops, okay, just like, uh, what's called, Jesus' disciples, that they have the, the same responsibilities, okay, so just like Jesus said, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole of creation, okay, that they too have this responsibility, okay, because it's been passed down to them through apostolic succession. So the type of things they do is that they send out letters, um, that they celebrate mass themselves, okay, uh, in the cathedral. Uh, the next point is that they have a responsibility to uh, care for the people in the diocese, all right, and um, the way in which they do this, as I said, is by sending out pastoral letters, okay, about visiting parishes, so he feels connected with, with the parishes within his diocese. Um, the next one, and this is sort of linked with with uh, with you a lot. All right, is the fact that he has a responsibility to ensure that there are sufficient Catholic schools um, to teach the Catholic faith in the diocese. All right, and that there's the is the correct amount of staff and Catholic staff, however, within the school. Um, he also has some pretty uh, what's called sort of boring roles, if you want, sort of like a, a managerial and admin work. So if we look at the admin work, first of all, that he's got to make sure that, do you mean that each parish has got enough um, enough funding to to survive? Um, so the type of thing you make sure is that there's enough money for paying bills, like heating bills, cleaning costs, or, or whatever, that sort, of, that sort of thing, okay? The upkeep, general upkeep of churches. Uh, if you look at the managerial role, okay, that one of his roles is to make sure that priests in his diocese are fulfilling their role, okay? And if they're not, that you may have to discipline any priests that, that sort of uh, are going against this. Um, now, the other one, you want to make sure you include this in your answer, okay? I know I'm giving you a lot of information here, but he's also got a role, not just in his local diocese, okay? So in in his, his area, but he has a role in the universal church, okay? So he has a responsibility to represent the people in his diocese too, um, to to ensure that the way in which the church is, is governed, that they are represented, all right? Their views and, and the way that they practice their faith, that that, that is taken into consideration by by the leaders of the Catholic Church, all right? So the type of thing that that um, they would do is that they meet together as bishops of England and Wales, all right? And, and some of the bishops would, would then represent, um, represent the UK in, in meetings in Rome, okay? So that is the main sort of role of the bishop. Now, why the bishop is important, all right, is that we're back to the idea of vital in his diocese, vital in the universal church, all right? So the reason why it's so important in the diocese is essentially it's for all the reasons that, um, that I've given above, all right? So you can just say, so this is because um, a bishop is supposed to be um, like a shepherd leading its flock in the diocese, okay? And it's got a he's got a responsibility to care for those in his diocese and to be there for them. So, therefore, the type of things that a, a bishop would do, you can talk about sending out letters, celebrating the sacrament of confirmation, ordination, um, the admin, the managerial role he has, all that stuff you can put in the therefore section. Um, the second paragraph is that he has an important role in the universal church, okay? So, this is because each bishop has a responsibility to take part in discussions about how the church is led and governed, all right? So they're there to sort of, to, to represent um, the lo local 
is his diocese, okay? And this uh, this responsibility has been passed down through apostolic succession to the bishops today, all right? So just like, so Jesus didn't just go, okay, Peter, you're in charge, all right? You're the Pope, okay, the first Pope, and all the rest of you, uh, it was called disciples, thank you very much, but you're not needed anymore, okay? He invested his power and authority in them also, okay? So just like they had a uh, responsibility to go and to lead the church, well, so do uh, what's called today's bishops, all right? So therefore, uh, the type of things that they would do is that they, what's called, that they work alongside the Pope, that some bishops are part of the, the magisterium, all right? And he would say that how, what's called, that they have, have meetings with other bishops as well as maybe what's called the, with the Pope as well, that um, to ensure that the, the, the leadership of the church is... is is as it should be, because they've got a big role in it, all right? Now, why a bishop isn't important? Essentially, you're picking those two points apart, all right? So if you're talking about the universal church, well, you could say that maybe we don't need a bishop because we've got the Pope, all right? So this is because the Pope is the leader of the church, and as uh, it was called God, is, is God's appointed person on earth. So therefore, um, I mean, that we should just follow the teachings of the Pope, and he even has the power to speak ex cathedra all right which means that he, he can't be wrong when teaching about matters of of um on, on matters of faith essentially okay so um you can talk about you can talk about that all right but you don't need him for the universal church uh you could also say that a bishop isn't important for um the reason that it's called you can say about the in the, the diocese well we don't need him in in the local area as much you can say about the importance of the priest instead all right so this is because a priest is is someone who is there to to lead us and guide us uh in in our local parish now for me i would interact far more with um with a parish priest than i would with the bishop obviously okay i very infrequently come into contact with a bishop okay so um, you could say, therefore, you could suggest that maybe we we don't need the bishop for the for the local church because instead we've got the priest who is obviously there in the mass to, as a represent as to represent Jesus. Okay, so you can talk about how we've got him today to to guide us, and he's also he's the person that we do turn to. Okay, so universal church bishops not needed. Got a pope instead. Local area don't need him parish priest instead okay so that's what concludes the the part about the bishops now looking at the pope all right so um the role of the pope